this sound effect, we used numerous different samples that all came together to make the final mix. For these first two tracks, we have the sound of me running my fingers across the top of a metal freezer, and it created almost this weird, like, rumbling buildup. I just went into the EQ, pulled down the high frequencies, and boosted the mid-tones and the low end. And then added just a bit of reverb with our decay at 1.6 seconds, and our wet levels at 50%. Now this sample really gives the sound effect a nice slow attack and decay, and a real nice sense of buildup. Now on these four tracks here, we have four different samples of me crinkling plastic. Through some modifications to the equalizer, we got this plastic sounding somewhat like medium-sized rocks falling off of the edge of a cliff. Something I just realized I also had thrown in here is a sound that I recorded months ago of the fizz inside of a soft drink. Now I use this for the sound of dust falling. I just filtered out the mid-tones and all the low frequencies so that we have a really nice sizzly high end to it. And I think it turned out great. On these four tracks, we have four different samples of me just rubbing the microphone on some random items. I think one of them was like a basket of pine cones, and there were a few other different things. It's these samples that I use for the sound of the larger rocks. And obviously, to get the full effect that I wanted, I filtered the high and mid frequencies and boosted the bass. Last but not least, we have my low rumble sound effect that I added in just to get some deeper frequencies. As you can see, this also rolls off pretty far at the end, kind of mixing in with the sounds of the remaining dust falling. I made this low rumble sound effect simply by rubbing my microphone on a piece of cloth and then filtering out the high to mid frequencies. Hey guys, so I'm back here a few days later and I recorded two more samples to put into this track. We have some decorative river rocks in our house that I just kind of picked up and dropped on one another. On those two samples, I boosted the bass with the equalizer and I added a little bit of reverb. We have a 1.1 second decay and a 16% wet mix. Right before I was about to export this sound, I kind of was listening to it a few times and determined that it needed a little bit more mid-tone. So I took this sample of me rubbing the microphone on the carpet and put it in and it was just the thing this sound needed. And for this sound effect, guys, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and please subscribe. There's going to be a bunch more stuff on the way this year.